Welcome to Inside Out Boards with your host, Cody Bass. Welcome back to the channel. Um, big hello to the new subs. Thank you for subscribing. And uh, please hit the like button if you like the videos. Um, what we got here is number two in this series um, of these little Johnson 15s. We're going to be putting a lower unit on this one and then we'll just have to find out what else is wrong with it. You understand? So we're going to dig into that. I got a donor motor out here that's got a ruined power head and probably a good lower unit, we hope. And we'll get that put together and see if we can't make a runner. If we, we make a runner out of the motor. So let's get started. Okay, this is a donor motor. It's uh, been long seized up. Um, still a lot of good parts and I'm hoping the lower unit is going to work out. So that's what we're going for. Here's a Loha unit. Boy, Joe, it's just a beautiful day. Now, it's a screw again. I'm a winner. Yeah. So. in neutral there. There's forward. You can see the gear shift or the uh, drive shaft. Neutral again. There. A reverse. Okay. So everything seems to work on it. unit stand. Boop, boop, boop. 
ball. There's the lower unit stand. Okay, I went and got a new impeller. And then I put that's how the grommet should look. Not all smashed and pinched. So. Actually, let's see what he's Okay, that's too short. We get it right. We get it right. Now we got some water pump impeller and a grommet that's not all kicky wonky. Now we got some water pump impeller and a grommet that's not all kicky wonky. I like to spread that gap just a little. Just a teensy, meety, 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 me little. So, now I gotta go get the power head that this is gonna go in.
Um, oh yeah, that's nice, huh? The making the Johnny Rude. Yeah, I know. I got to lift it back up about a little half an inch or so. So I can get the shift screw in there. I know. I ain't forgot. All right. That's good enough for a test of everything. There's reverse. New Chiro. Oh. Oh. Hope the grommets up under the power head were nothing like the grommet I found in a water tube. Because if they are, this is a waste of time. On a stand. You know, once in a while, uh, working on these old kickers and you get a little surprise and I just put the lower unit on this little kicker, this little 15, um, turned it into a Johnny root and I popped the bonnet on this thing and I'm going to show you what I found and it was surprising. Let's look. Okay, so there's the little Johnny Rood. I poked the bonnet. Look at how clean that is. That thing is amazingly clean. What a little cutie. I mean, that thing's clean as a whistle in here. For my area, that's amazingly clean. I think all we're going to have to do is hook some gas up to this guy. Now, in my last vid, I showed you that foam in the number one. See, when your foam's like that, you're okay. Even though it was missing chunks and stuff, you're okay if the foam is fresh and good. That ain't gonna, that's going to be fine. So, you know, but once it turns, I mean, that, that other engine, you could tell was sitting so long that whatever foam was left had just turned to dust and but this will be fine I'll move that chunk air that's where they hit the the latch but other than that it's in good shape so with this little guy we're going to get it in the tank Get it in a tank. We're gonna give it some gaso. And hope she go boom boom over. Okay, it feels like gas is going into the bowl. Just top her off. Let me see where you're at in, in the big pitches. Where are you at? Okay, let's get you right about there. Okay. Huh. Let's see what happens. Something ain't right. Something ain't right.
well, we will do a complete check on it then. to do these new plugs but it's got something going on so we're gonna check everything one's not as bright as the other ones. Up a good fight though. Ah, dog, it got off. Oh, well. That was fine. There, it was right there. Jumped up and grabbed that lure. Feels like a better fish, too. Let's go down that way. If he wants to go that way, we'll go that way. Bigger sandbar area down here, too. Give up though. Now he wants to go back that way. I accommodate him and come all the way down. Let's go down that way. Right on out. <laughs> right, 
Yummy. Those are going to get filleted, lightly smoked, and then put in the old pressure cooker in jars and jarred up. Yummy. Fortify. Let's get them up off that aluminum. We don't want none of that. And get them away from each other. Alrighty. Hopefully you can see that. Right in here. That's what the sparky should be. Got no spark. Now, okay, look at these top two. Right there, hopefully you can see it. Like, good hot spark now. So, we are zeroed out. So, Testionis. Testionis. About one. Uh, about one thirteen on the top. Okay, let's get a read on the bottom. What did we get? What did we get? We got 90, 95, 100, 105. So there is a little range. Pretty, uh, 113, 15. That's not too terrible. Gasolinas! You want to stun us? Okay. I don't think I'm going to choke it. I'm just going to see what happens. Oh, we got spark. Fire to them in petroleum products. They go kapoom. So.
stop. They at it again. Them daggum buyers. So there's our local paper, the Kodiak paper. I show you what it say. Man attacked by bear on Pillar Mountain. Right over here. Man was attacked by a bear on Pillar Mountain Sunday morning, sustaining injuries that required emergency transport to Providence Kodiak Island Medical Center. The attack occurred on a trail in the south on Pillar Road. Well, so say the police. That's what they say. That's what the popo say. Now, um, I knew the fella that got uh, attacked by the bear. In fact, I purchased uh, an outboard small engine shop from him and his partner. Um, he was part owner of it and his friend was the other part owner. And uh, so I did know the fella and he got munched up pretty bad. He, uh, he was running, jogging, he's a jogger, and uh, he was running on that trail there and the bear come up behind him and got him and uh, tore up his leg pretty good and then he the bear took off. It, it, it let him go and, and went back in the bushes or whatever. Um, so he's bleeding pretty bad and everything and uh, he whips out his cell phone to call for help and when he turned it on it went beep beep and made a noise and the bear come back and jumped on him again and grabbed him by the arm this time and started tearing his arm all up. Well he got, he, he did have some bear spray on him and he sprayed the bear with the pepper spray and the bear took back off and and uh, and this time he was able to complete the call to the police and get help so people some of my subs have asked me how, you know how far uh, do I live away from these bears and everything I've had these bears right here in this yard in my berry patch over there um, a friend of mine who lives one house right behind that house across the street from me shot one um, that measured 10 foot 6 I think it was so they're right around here. They're all around here. Yeah. There's the bar. Fishing on the creek. Standing in a pool of salmon. Okay, so that is number two of the three Johnson 15s that I'm doing in this little bitty series. Um, so we got a lower unit on this one, we got spark, and we got everything peeing good, a new impeller, and so we got one left to do. and. Uh, and I haven't went through it yet, 
so we still don't know what we're going to find on that one. But, hey, at least it has a lower unit. So, um, yeah. Them daggum buyers. All right. Stay with me. We'll get on that third one. But that's going to be a wrap for this one right now. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for part three on Inside Outboards with Cody Bass.